What's up everyone? We're back. I told you guys I had a surprise, so we are on the way to go pick up the surprise. Uh, stay tuned, because we got this wad of cash. We're about to pick up some good stuff here, so we're on the road there. We'll see you soon. Peace. And we're back. We are back. Just met the guy, picked up all the stuff, and here we go. Check it. Boom. T56 Trans. Intake. Spec 3 stage or spec stage 3 plus clutch. Drive shaft. A hefty intercooler. Six inches. All my turbo stuff now, because if you haven't got the hint, I got a turbo. All custom made hot side. Look at that downpipe. That boy is thick. And now, let's go to the good stuff. Boom. 76-75 ball bearing precision turbo. Ceramic. Just for a comparison, what size is your turbo? It's 60. This is 60 uh, turbo. So that's for the 2J. And then that is the 76, 75 precision turbo. I didn't realize. Holy crap, it's so much bigger. You can fist it. All right, so we went ahead and start painting this. Since we're going to try and make it look a little pretty. I'm going to tape this off and then paint that blue. Um, I also got that. That's pretty neat. Carbon fiber look on it. But just waiting on that cam degree kit to finish the motor. Should be here eventually. Let's see what else we got. Just painting this little piece too right here. So nothing crazy going on today. But this is going to be like throughout the week type video because I ain't got much going on. I'm going to try and drop the fuel sound the junk, but that's about it. All right, everyone, we got a big package here. Let's look at the unboxing. So here we go. Obviously, I already opened it, but what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it says Hall Tech. Boom. Got a t-shirt from them, too. And I got my plug-and-play plug adapter for the car. So this is big. This is a big uh, because... Now I can get all the wiring set up. But I got here in a nice, timely manner. Gave me a free t-shirt, so we're looking good. Put it up in the car and let's see how it fits. All right, so now we're gonna take the Haltech. We're gonna take this bracket off, unplug this, and the Haltech will plug into this, and then this part right here will plug right back into it. So it should be pretty easy, but I'm gonna take this bracket off. Yeah, take this nut off under here. This will all come off, and then we'll see what happens from there. Alrighty everyone, so we're back in the garage, uh, so today is Thursday, like I said this is going to be more of a vlog of what's going on throughout the week, uh, and what work we're getting done throughout the week since we do all work full time. So I kind of skipped ahead, uh, but threw the gasket on here, bolted this bad boy down, it ain't the best paint job, but it's honest work, you know what I'm saying? So we have the Division X high, fuel, uh, high flow fuel rails, and I have my 1200cc fuel injectors. Uh, they're not the best, but they're douche works. They're for people that are on a budget, like myself. So, bowling on a budget. Got this side installed. Looks freaking amazing. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't scream horsepower. That's some uh, Cluteus McFarlane's type stuff, but I think it looks amazing. Uh, I got the other one. I'm going to throw the other one on the other side, but I'm getting pumped up. This looks sweet. Uh, I finally, oh, big news. Forgot to even tell you guys. Jordan Martin came through and hooked me up with the cam degree kit. So I got the whole kit. I got the wheel. This wheel is huge. It's going to help definitely a lot. Uh, boy, was a little... Oh, let me get the camera to focus. Oh, maybe you don't want... Oh, yeah, here we are. A little expensive. $250 for this cam degree kit. And I got my uh, AccuFab secondary timing chains, which is definitely... Get those if you're running uh, anti-lag. <coughs> but, like I said... Definitely expensive, but I'm going to try and sell it after I'm done with it. Uh, 
because $250 I can use for something else. But it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other side on. Um, that's the other side, so I'll try and set up like a time lapse or something. When you're putting the lube onto the piece that goes into the uh, the fuel rail, don't put a lot because you don't want it to leak. So as you see, I'm putting a very minimum, very minimum amount just to get it slid in there. Like uh, you probably can't see, but it's very small, very small. Rub it around a little bit, and you're gonna just get it in there and twist, and it should go right in like that. Super easy, super freaking easy. But back to the time lapse. Here we go. So this, all right, so this came out outstanding. Shout out to Division X for making some beautiful fuel rails. Shout out to Doucheworks for the 1200cc injectors. This bad boy is coming together. Looking super clean, super mean. I am very happy with how it came out. But that's going to be a wrap uh, for today's uh, video, or today's portion of the video. Uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, let's see, tomorrow we're going to start degreeing the cams. Uh, so, <coughs> Jordan Martin already hit it in the video, so I'm not going to go through the step-by-step -step, uh, how, how to degree cams because it's very complex and it's going to take us like hours. It's going to take, I'm guessing around four-ish hours to degree the cams perfectly and to do all that jazz. Uh, so, if you want that video, let me know and I'll send you the link or I'll throw the link down in the, the description. But tomorrow's gonna be doing the cams. Uh, so, yep, it's getting pretty legit. The only reason I did this first is because we wanna mock up all the wiring. So, now we have where we can mock up the wiring. Of course, all the wiring is in here. So, it's looking pretty freaking legit. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you in the next clip. Peace.